Okay, hey guys, so I decided to make another video really quick. Um, I wanted to show you what I've been doing so far while I'm waiting for all my materials to come in for um, Spanish and German. So, um, basically I've kind of made out a schedule for myself. I'm going to be doing, depending, I'll be doing Spanish one day and then German the next day and like keep going on and off like that or I'll do like a little bit of Spanish in the like morning time and um, some span or some German in the evening or I don't know it's just gonna depend on like my schedule and then with school starting on Monday um, so I'll have college to think about too so I'll have to kind of work it in there somehow um, but uh, for the last few days that I don't have school yet, um, what I've been doing so far is I've just kind of been looking through some Spanish, and I've been I've been looking through some Spanish books that I have, and then um, I've been looking kind of online for German. I don't know. Uh, and yeah, so. <clears throat> What I've decided to do is basically while I'm waiting for all my materials to come in that I ordered online on Amazon for Spanish and German, I'm going, I've been using, I've kind of just been looking through this book, Spanish Wine Quick, quick Review, um, and it's, it just goes through master, it says master the basics fast, I don't know. So I've just kind of been reading through this a little bit, um, and so far it's a pretty good book, I mean, it goes through a lot of the basics, I mean, it doesn't have anything to listen to, but I got it from Target, and um, it was like $10, I don't know, so I've just kind of been reviewing through this, and then last night I actually watched, um, Tangled, the Disney movie Tangled, and uh, in Spanish with the uh, Spanish subtitles at the bottom. So yeah, I did that. I watched through the whole thing and it actually really helps. For I don't know why, but for some reason the sometimes the subtitles were completely different from the actual um, person the voice so that was a little weird but for the most part it was like pretty good and by the end of it I was able to kind of pick up more of the language than I did when it first when I first started the movie so I'll be doing more of that with like more Disney movies or something I don't know and um that's for Spanish I haven't looked I don't think there is like a German version of the movies. I don't know. I'll have to look. But I think it's just usually in America it's usually just English the original and then there's also a Spanish and a French version I think. That'd be really awesome if there was a German though. Like I could find a movie that had German in it too. That'd be cool. But we'll see. And um, then I've just kind of been looking through my dictionary and stuff. And then I have, I also have a little pocket one. I don't know. And then I also, this was from a long time ago. I don't know, maybe a couple years. But I went to the bookstore and I randomly got this Spanish for Dummies book. Your survival to everyday words and expressions. Speak Spanish the fun and easy way. I don't know. And it came with a CD. It's not open. I haven't... Oh wait, yeah it is actually. Uh, I did open it. Um, But... 
So yeah, I've just kind of been looking through this a little bit. I don't know. It's not the best, I don't think. I mean, it has some, like, conversations and stuff. But, I don't know. I'm going to have to look through this more. I'll just look at this while I'm waiting, too. And then I've also decided to try the gold list method. And, uh... I got this from a guy online, I forget his name, the first time I saw it was like um, an overview of what this, I think he's Irish, I don't know, he has this like Irish or Scottish accent, I'm not sure, but he was learning Dutch or something, and um, yeah, I'll put his name on the down bar or something, and then also the um, the main per the person that actually came up with the method, I forget his name too, Dave, Uncle Dave, Davey something, or something, I don't know, but yeah, I'll put their names down there of where I got this idea from, and uh, I basically got these really nice um, books, one is lighter purple, one's darker purple, and uh, I got the moleskin books so it's really durable paper and um, it just feels so nice and they don't like tear easily. I just love moleskin books. They're amazing but they are really expensive. Really expensive. But um, but yeah so I started, um, I'm not going to explain the whole method of what it is. Maybe I'll do that in another video but I'm just going to show you. Um, I've only gotten one entry done of 25 words and of each for each language, Spanish and German. I've done one for each today and uh, it's basically you date it you date it at the top and then you list all the Sp 25 Spanish words and then you put the English translation on the other side and then you wait for a couple weeks and then you see how much has been put into your long-term memory and then you go to the next page and you write down like 17 words that you didn't remember that you still need to know and um, yeah I'll, I'll probably explain that in another video but it probably doesn't make very much sense but yeah I've started with the first um, set and I got just basic words like hola, buenos dias, buenos tardes, uh, me amo, Corin, um, por favor, gracias, uh, como se dice, um, si, no, you know, like, quien, like little words like that. And then uh, for German, it wasn't as easy because I don't, I have no experience in German whatsoever, so yeah, it was kind of uh, difficult to find. I was just looking on the internet for like German basics and then I was looking up the like how to pronounce everything, so it was really hard and I'm trying to like, I don't know, it's really hard, uh, but it'll get easier. It, I mean, that's how I was for Swedish, too. It was, it was hard at first, but then you just get, it, get the hang of it, so. Um, yeah, so this is my entry. I dated it, and 25 words or phrases in German, and then English on the side. And I got words like, hallo, uh, guten morgen, ja, nein, danke, um, or something like that. I think that's how you say it. Um, and then I got like My name is Karin. Some, I think that's how you say it. Um, and then I got like the when, where, how, why, those type of words. Um, and what really gets me for German is the W like all these W's, 
they're pronounced like a V in English and it gets me all flustered because I always want to say the W sound instead of the V. So like wo, that's not how you say it, you go vo or like uh, instead of instead of like wan, it's van. So I don't know, it's it's a little hard. It's definitely a harder language to learn, but I'm going to get used to it, and this is just my first list. I'm probably going to do another list in German tonight, and another list in um, 25, uh, of 25 words in German, and then another one in Spanish tonight, maybe. So yeah, uh, I'm just starting with the gold list method, seeing if it works. I don't know. I'm just going to try it out. And then I have my schedule book of like a planner so I can start putting in my schedule of what I'm actually going to be doing with all this and then trying to fit in also my college and school time for that. So yeah. I just wanted to show you guys what I'm doing until I get um, all the materials here from Amazon. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Leave me tips on what else I could do to help me learn German, especially German. It's really hard. Or um, Spanish too. Like any tips you have, totally let me know and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.